to welcome DTM Nelson Menezes. DTM Nelson, the stage is yours. Yeah. Thank you, uh, DTM Sudarshan, and many congratulations to DTM Raj and DTM Sudarshan uh, for achieving the highest milestone. Friends, uh, Toastmaster DTM Umar Radhakrishnan, uh, Rajesh Guruji, Toastmasters, and welcome guests. I am really privileged to be back in this White Toastmasters Club today. And the reason I say so is I have been transported to Satwa, to Lal Sukham supermarket for that SSPI sessions with Shalini and me. Shalini, my wife, we had. And really, that sessions were so impactful in our marriage life. We were under the training of Damini Ma, and when we were invited for that session, we didn't really want to go, but then somehow we were persuaded by our family friends and the session in SSY and in, in Russell came up for the advanced session was really something which we consider the most even till today. So coming back to SSY Toastmasters brings in fond memories to me. The mentors of the club became Uma. I still can remember uh, Snail and Srikant inviting me meeting after meeting. We have JPM Ramesh Menon, but we came Sudarshan, who has been a pillar. And Mariam became uh, Peter. That's the beauty of those masters. Last year, it was really phenomenal because you had those master Raji Nair, your current VP membership, leading from the front. And there were challenges for the club. The way she led the club to stock and at the end achieved the highest recognition for your club is worth applaudable and commendable. And this year in our district, when I see the PR activities of SSY, the visibility and the vibe which you all are creating, really, I could say that one of our vibrant clubs in the current term, 2020-2021, is Assessed by Toastmasters. So kudos to Toastmaster Rajesh, the president and entire ex government members, and wishing you super success. I know your area director, Adarsh, is very instrumental. And even last year, Toastmaster Yogesh gave ample support to you. So keep inspiring, keep making a difference to the members and guests who attend our meetings. Today, in the barrier of fear, I would like to say something. Way back in 2007, I was pushed into Toastmasters. And when I say pushed, it is my wife who found out about Toastmasters through some ad in the newspaper. We were new, <clears throat> married in Dubai. And someone told her that Toastmasters is a good forum Nelson can improve. And I did attend. The star of Arabia Toastmaster meeting with only one intention. And that was just attend the meeting, come back and tell my wife that I had been to a Toastmaster meeting, and that's it. Little did I know that when I reached Al Futem Training Center, things changed. The president came out to greet me, and that was my first contact with Toastmasters. The welcome, the greeting which I received in 2007 and in 2020, I am still a Toastmaster and I serve Toastmasters as district director. It was so impactful and I was led to the tea, uh, meeting room and introduced to so many Toastmasters. I felt so happy. I was an introvert, not open to talk. But then during the meeting, everybody came and said hello. It was a small group of people. But then during the break, I had a very life remembering moment. I asked one of the senior Toastmasters, whom I didn't know, that what is Toastmaster? And he took me to the side and said, it's public speaking, you can improve yourself. And then I'm told, how much time have we to invest? 
and he said we have two meetings a month first and third sundays and i thought oh okay you have to prepare and and then he asked me a strange question which really really took me deep it hit my heart so strange that i am still remember it even today he asked me can't you invest 5 hours per month for your own personal development can't you invest 5 hours per month for your own personal development i gave a serious thought and in the very next meeting i enrolled as a member and since then life has changed a lot i was immediately appointed a member and assigned a mentor in the club who kept motivating me like every toast master who will agree with me today we have moments where we take a back seat we felt okay um, we are doing some pro roles you saw in the agenda showed by your president we have project speech speech is table topics evaluation we try to focus but my mentor ensured that he kept calling me and when it was me i was told that i have to take an excom role i didn't know anything about an excom but just because my mentor said i accepted the role of a club treasurer so you see what actually happened i was doing my project speeches i was working on my communication track and in the very first year i also started on my leadership track which is uh, the club treasurer in the very first year i finished my competent communicator cc and i was informed by my mentor that there is an advanced club why don't you join so that you get more speaking opportunities those masters was so deep rooted within me that i don't know oh, wow there more opportunities why not so i came a dual member there i took the role of sergeant at arm we saw today when sergeant at arm opened the meeting with so much of energy that's what that's the role i took and three years down the line one evening when our, the meeting was over about to um, leave i was told we the vp members i accepted the role because every role in those masters gives opportunity for us to learn develop and grow six years down the line one evening when i was seated just about to leave the office uh, our meeting room a mentor of the club came to me and said ha huh? nelson so you are the next president of the club i was stunned never did i think that i could be a president of a vibrant club in uae i went home and i my wife was in the kitchen i still remember and she said if they believe in you why can't you and that's when i felt somewhere richard branson talking to me and saying if someone has given you an opportunity and you are not sure of it just say yes and learn it later friends i accepted the role of a president and led the excom we have eight members in a club excom which was master rajesh really showed in his opening presentation the excom of ss y toast masters since then i have taken up different roles i have grown in communication and in 2014 i achieved the highest distinction in toast master which is distinguished toast master where just now we were talking about bkm raj and bkm sudarsh but today i would like to ask you all how did it happen it all happened in a toast master club i started in a toast master club and today i still serve with lot of pride toast masters across four countries we are spread across four countries uae oman lebanon and jordan and today ssy toast master club is part of 252 clubs across these four countries we belong to region 11 
today, as I see so many guests, I would like to assure you all, our program is based on the fundamentals of motive evaluation. If you see the membership across this room itself, you will see many senior Toastmasters who have been in Toastmaster for over five years, six years, 10 years, two years, few months. The question I need to ask and the guest is, just think of the reason why they are in Toastmasters. Each one of us has that fear somewhere deep rooted within us. The fear, which I call as emotional triggers, it could be the fear of failure. It could be a fear that you are invited to give a business presentation tomorrow morning. You attend a party and someone says, come on, raise a toast. The most important fear which I personally have experienced and I have come across so many toast masters across the year is most of them have that fear. That is, what will the people think about me? What if I fail? Today I tell you, having that fear is normal. And Toastmasters meetings will help you get rid of that fear. In my very first meeting, I was invited to attend table topics. The enthusiasm within me, because the members have all spoken to me, was so immense that I got up from the chair and walked to the podium with so much of confidence. And when I just turned around and I stared at the audience, I froze. I will never forget that day. I virtually froze because my thought process really was hit. When I saw the audience in front of me, I just couldn't speak anything. But when I went and I sat on my seat, the two Toastmasters sitting next to me, no problem, you will learn. The assurance and the motivation I got from my club members. And you will receive this motivation from every club across the world in Toastmasters. Today, we have over 16,600 clubs. Over 4 million members have come. They have learned from Toastmasters and left. But the fundamentals of our program is the same. We work on motive evaluation. Our club mission is very simple. Every club in the world provides a safe, supportive learning experience to every guest, to every member across the world. It's okay to make mistakes, friends. It's absolutely fine. But in Toastmasters in the club, the evaluators will tell you, no worries. You have done good. You have really improved on so-and-so aspects. And moving on, you could consider this as an area for improvement. And that's where growth happens. The fear which you have will slowly start diminishing. The only secret which you need to make to have is practice. Our program has wonderful education programs. We have already moved into the digital world. We have pathways, 11 paths. And to every guest, I would like to say there are different paths. We have motivational strategies, strategic relationships, persuasive in influence, presentation mastery. You have dynamic leadership, visionary communication. You choose the path which you want, which will help you in your career development. Rest assured, when you become members, you will be given the tools and the encouragement to move on, improve, and become good communicators and leaders. Leadership is something which we encourage because I firmly believe when you join Toastmasters, a person feels that he wants to increase his personal growth, speak in front of public. But when you become an effective leader, you grow in leadership, communication is part of your growth. It's a must. So today, think about the situations. We are 
in a digital world. Online meetings are the new norms, be it at work, be it in your family. We are having Zoom meetings with our families. Our children are in our bedroom studying online and parents are having a tough time taking care of their online courses. And Toastmasters also has slowly transformed into an online platform. Today, I would like to encourage every guest, every member here to make the decision. Ikigai, know your why. You will get the direction in the Toastmaster Club because the club, SSY Toastmasters Club, will ensure that you will be assigned great mentors. You will be assigned a pathway. The Vice President of Education, Smita, will ensure that she will draw a path to you which will help you grow because when you know the purpose, when you know the why, the how, the what will slowly reach you by its own. Join Toastmasters Club. We are spread over 143 countries and we are still growing. Millions have benefited and it's a no secret. You, all you need to visit is our website, www.toastmasters.org. There's wealth of information for any member, any person in the world. And the second, Fundamental, which I would like to encourage Toastmasters, what really works for us is the mentoring program. It's so effective that the mentors work with your mentees, and we find so many Toastmasters who have couldn't speak, had the fear of even facing an audience, who couldn't utter a single word. We have seen transformations, we have seen them becoming world champions. We have seen them because taking, participating in speech contests and doing wonderfully well. Each year, we have the championships, and every year there is a world champion crown. This year, on August 29th, we had Toastmaster Mike Carr as the world champion of public speaking. Friends, you will have immense opportunities in Toastmasters to hone your public speaking skill. You can develop your communication skills, your career advancement, self-confidence, your leadership skills. There is fear in everybody. It's absolutely fine to have fear. When you have little butterflies in your stomach, you also get some courage to fight those butterflies. And there lies the opportunities for growth. It is there you will find yourself transformed. If you want something, which you never had, you have to do something which you never did. So dear guest, Toastmasters, SSY Toastmasters Club is the right place for you to join. You will find something which you will may have not realized that the talent, the potential which you may have. In the introductions, I found that there are some Toastmasters who took a break from Toastmasters. Please join. You know that the potential which Toastmasters have. You have taken a break, but be assured, we need every Toastmasters to join Toastmasters, SSY Toastmasters, because in SSY Toastmasters, you start with something so nice. Break the barrier of fear, but your meeting starts with something so special, something which I really love, the five-minute meditation. Dr. Rajesh Guruji took us today that five minutes of meditation, which was so fabulous. Calms your anxiety. Take a free, deep breath in out. I'm sure when you do that, every role in Toastmasters will be a curve of personal growth and increasing confidence. Wishing you all the best and welcome to SSY Toastmasters. Back to you, Toastmaster, the PM Sudarshan. Thank you so much.